When it comes to painting autumn inspired artworks, like for example, these leaves that I painted for the next course in Watercolor Painting Academy, you can have a super extensive color palette with as many as 11 colors, all to portray the beauty of the autumn atmosphere. This is how many colors I used to create this painting. But what if you do not have all those pigments? Or what if you want to use a limited color palette, for example, three or four pigments, and achieve the same autumn vibe in your painting? In this video, I will share with you three palette options for autumn leaves painting. A palette with 11, six, and as little as four colors. And here we go, 11 color color palette. <laughs> I start with cold yellow, lemon yellow. Then I move to um, warm yellow, cadmium yellow. I'll need an orange color, so I will use Hinacredon Gold. Nice, almost carrot <laughs> looking uh, color. There will be some space for light transparent Rosiana and of course burnt sienna burnt sienna is a must color for any autumn painting And my new favorite, Meadow Brown. Very saturated, vibrant brown color with bits of red in it. I'll need red. I use bright red. And I will also need a cold, cool version of red. Very vibrant magenta. But this is not it, because we also have a section of darker shades, which we will create by mixing the two complementaries. So the one, the main color is already present in the palette, and the complementary I'm talking about is going to be blue which we will use to create darker shade of brown. So any of these colors from orange to brown to the red brown, <laughs> uh, Eden Blue is gonna make those that color darker. Then green as a complementary to red. And 
finally black. I'm not going to use black as a pure color on the leaves, but it's going to play an important role in creating textures and veins of the leaves. I use neutral black. And now let's create the palette. Oh, we're not going to use um, blue to make orange darker. I don't think so because these colors are going to be responsible for it. So here we go. This uh, <laughs> uh, palette that transitioned from nice and vibrant cold yellow into warmer colors all the way up to red and then to the shades of brown, all right, and black. And voila! This is the palette for 11 colors. So alternative color palette for only 6 colors instead of 11 <laughs> is this. Instead of the yellows, you can use Cambodge yellow. Nice, bright, also warm, very vibrant yellow color. Instead of Finagridon uh, uh, gold, you can use cadmium orange from a palette. Then instead of uh, bright red, you can use cadmium red. Then for brown, if you have Van Dyke, it can be a very nice uh, color to swap the burned and raw sienna. It's also going to work well with the darker shades on the leaves. Then instead of uh, ultramarine blue, you can use uh, blue. <laughs> or for example, Ftawa blue. And neutral black. So here we have 6 colors instead of 11 and very similar autumn palette. Let's see. I start with nice and vibrant Cambodge, move into orange and then into cadmium red. And then into brown Van Dyke.
which is transitioning into blue and black. We don't have green in this particular color palette, but uh, if you take blue, which is uh, pigment PB15, and you mix it with uh, Van Dyke, it's gonna give you a little bit of a greenish tone. So here you can kind of snatch uh, green, darker tone of green from this combo, or you can take the blue and add it into yellow and you'll have nice green color for your palette. Color palette with four colors. Cadmium yellow as a warm uh, yellow color, which you can use everywhere in the painting and add um, some bits of red to achieve different um, tones of orange. And for red, you can use cadmium red, which is present in uh, any watercolor set. Then you will need green to make red darker. And black. So how these four colors are going to give you <laughs> a nice autumn uh, palette. Let's see. Let's start with cadmium. Cadmium yellow. And create orange by adding cadmium red. Then I will extend this cadmium red and add green to achieve darker tone. And finally we land in black. And here we go, we have a palette that will be enough to create autumn leaves. An interesting bonus here is that if you use yellow with black, you will end up having some um, greenish tone in the mix, which also can play an interesting role in your painting of autumn leaves. If you would like to use one of those palettes, and paint this late autumn leaves with me, enroll into our latest course in Watercolor Painting Academy. Link is in the description to this video.